Arab Salim is much like other towns and villages that dot the hills of southern Lebanon. What stands out here are the glinting solar energy panels on the rooftops of nearly every home. Ali Shamsedin was one of the first to install solar panels. He gave up his diesel fuel generator because of the high cost and the bad smell. At first he wasn't convinced solar energy could power his entire house during the hot summer days and cold winter nights, but soon found it does. In Lebanon, we have an electricity crisis, and the government doesn't provide us with alternative energy, except for generators, which aren't reliable. And so I decided to create my own alternative, an environmentally friendly energy source, and it's great. He spent $16,000 on the solar system that powers his home. Few of his neighbors could afford the investment until the local village council stepped in with a subsidized scheme. Solar energy is now so popular that it's become a cottage industry here. This small factory makes water boilers that are powered by the sun and provides badly needed jobs. Engineer Ahmed Nuruddin helps install solar systems. This map of Arab Salim shows all homes now using renewable energy. I was really glad to see people from, from many places in the society, or many who do different jobs, and they all wanted to install solar systems. Farmers, the engineers, the doctors, everybody bought into the idea because it's economic, because they can see the, the benefit right away. While Arab Salim is energized, that can't be said for the rest of Lebanon, which suffers power cuts for up to 12 hours a day. According to the government's own estimates, in order for Lebanon to have 24-hour-a-day electricity, it would cost between 5 and $6 billion to overhaul the entire power infrastructure. But that would require broad political support, something that has been hard to get. Rival political blocs blame each other for the electricity crisis and say the nearly 1.5 million Syrian refugees now sheltering in Lebanon are further straining the system. Whatever the case, until government leaders solve the major infrastructure issues that are causing the power shortages, few have little choice but to take matters into their own hands. In Fiyaz Taib, Al Jazeera, Arab Salim in southern Lebanon.